killed it. And, you know, thank you first and foremost, because, you know, only you could do such things on this couch to make us anonymous. But we, we have to work our way through kind of like a little bit of a recap of what the interview was. And the first thing at the end, let's work forward is, um, you went live today on your, on your own Instagram to address a one Christopher Williams, who he said, man, what Jaguar talking about? No, he said I was a crackhead. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. He did say that. And this is all I have to say to that. Somebody go get me a cup. I'll piss in it right now, right here on camera. And I guarantee you the only thing you'll find in my urine is alcohol and THC. That's all I do. I am a retired drug dealer. Never get high on your own supply. Ten crack commandments. I remember when the song came out. I don't do meth. I don't do coke. I don't do heroin. I sold that. More importantly than that, my father was a drug and alcoholics counselor, a retired addict himself. I knew everything about drugs by the age of seven. My father used to sweat out heroin addicts in our basement. See, I thought it was crazy when I was young, but as an adult, I understood why my father brought his work home with him. Because he wanted us to see where this shit ended. So we wouldn't want to begin. See, when you see a motherfucking grown ass man, six foot seven, 267 pounds strong, crying like a fucking baby, having fucking heroin withdrawals. At the age of five, it becomes very clear. That's not the shit you want to do. When when your father goes into a crack house with a 45 in one hand and a Bible in the other and walks out with them both with blood on them with your god sister in her arms because he had to beat the nigga that was raping her off of her because her mama sold her to get high for the money. Like, I, I, I had to sit with my god sister when my dad had to literally beat a nigga off for of her from being raped. We were the same age, and she looked so much older than me. We were 10 years old. Her body was 10, but her eyes was 80. She looked so old to me. The nigga that I had to shoot to stop him from raping her. Clean shoot. See, I know what drugs do. And I know what people will do for drugs. To accuse me of being an addict, whether you're accusing me of being a meth head or a crackhead or a cokehead or whatever it is, it's insane. I save people from drugs. Just like I save people from sex traffickers. I save people. I wonder how many people are gonna be saved after my Tusi tutorial. Come on. Mm. Come on. It's crazy. Like y'all motherfuckers don't like the way I say shit. But it's effective. It saves lives. Mm. Fuck you mean. So you were saying Christopher Williams, the dick sucking hoe. Yeah, what did you say about him? 
Yeah, well, I mean, what what do you say? Because he's like, I'm from Brooklyn, and I would never And have... he's a dick-sucking hoe from Brooklyn. Mm. Oh. He's a light skin, lightweight, JBL headphone stealing. Oh, man. Pussy-ass motherfucker. That was 2017, Jack. Suck, uh, and? Oh. 2017, that was less than a decade ago. Who the fuck said? Hyperoptic Full Fiber Broadband helps you break free from unclear pricing and overpriced service. So fucking steals JBLs. Still the beats. You're an artist. You should know the difference. Is sound quality ho? The beats, the JBL. The beats, that you stole the JBL? The beats were hotter back then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so with that being said, um, yes, uh, you've ruffled some feathers. Fuck them. Uh, <laughs> and Fuck I, the feathers. Put them in a pillow. Go to sleep. Faith Evans just responded to your comment. Uh huh. She's saying she heard your story about you know y'all's like, and she said hilarious. That's the only comment. Hilarious. Got it. Like that. That's an interesting rebuttal. I that, don't understand. Where's the rebuttal? Is, what is hilarious? What I said, or the fact that she didn't have anything else to say other than hilarious. See, I find that hilarious. Mm. One word responses, I find hilarious. Because see, a one word response is you looking for someone to let you off the hook for something that you don't want to say. And at the end of the day, it is hilarious. You married Biggie when you wanted Tupac. That's hilarious. Mm. You wanted Grammys, but you settled for ghostwriting for a whore like Mary J. Blige. That's hilarious. Mm. You wanted to build real R&B, Divas franchise, and you settled for Stevie J. And Mona Scott and Jocelyn Hernandez and the mass singer while he films you in your home, disrespecting you. That's hilarious. You married your, your child's godfather. And he wasn't never looking out for neither one of y'all. That's hilarious. Or the fact that Valletta Wallace would have rather had little Kim, a woman that really loved her son, than you as a daughter-in-law. That's hilarious. You wanna talk about hilarious? Hilarious is settling for a life that is so far beneath you, cousin. When you're one of the most talented bitches in the world. Hilarious is pretending like you didn't know that you weren't sure whether or not you were carrying Tupac's babies. Oh. That's hilarious. Hilarious is both of the niggas that I know and kick it with that worked at death row that heard Pac fucking you in the booth and took pictures of your very high yellow eggs getting fucked by that very gorgeous dark skin thin man who was so much different than your obese husband who you didn't know. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Bars. Uh, if Faith have twins, 
she probably have two pox. Get it? Two pox. Bars. Your husband said that. That's hilarious. I'm sorry. What were you saying? So yeah, no, 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 no. You, you said it right there. But all right, we we again, we just recapping because we just recapping. Um, and things have happened since you. I love you, cousin. Oh, 